Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this segment of AKT Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. And tonight, um, we're just going to relax. I have some dinner. I made the Ancestor Altar Trip for King Nip and Queen Trip and King Fawn and you know, we have the other food and the other altar for K.I. So, hello, everybody. Uh, so, I want to come tonight and um, have a little bit of dinner. Because, you know, Nipsey spoils. So, and because they've been doing such a wonderful job, giving me so much wonderful information. You know, I want to tell you a couple of things. I don't know if you've seen them in the news, but you can go check them. The things that I said Nipsey told me were going to happen have already happened uh, within the past few days, a lot of things, like around the King Bond situation, you see the FBI came out and formally said King Bond did shoot and kill K.I., like I said, King Bond admitted and K.I. told me, but King Bond didn't do that alone, I'm still saying there was another person involved, there was another man involved in shooting K.I., and I asked King Bond, because he's so upset with K.I. still. And K.I. still says, I love you, Vaughn. I'm sorry, Vaughn. And I said, Vaughn, what is it? Why are you so angry at K.I.? Because you shot her. And he says, she shot my homeboy. So if any of you can tell me if you know anything about K.I. shooting a young man that was in Vaughn's gang or close to Vaughn, please tell me. Please let me know because Vaughn is still a, not 100%, but a, a part of Vaughn is still angry with K.I. He said K.I. started it with him. He didn't just come up and shoot K.I. for no reason. They're in different gangs. They're not in the same gang. I know Vaughn is BD. I wonder if K.I. G.D. Okay, Shannon says she shot O.D. Perry. So she, now did O.D. Perry do something to K.I.? Because I know I was watching some documentaries and K.I.'s brother was killed. I'm not sure if K.I.'s brother was a gang member or he's just an innocent young man in a particular area. So is that why she shot O.D. Perry? Or did O.D. Perry do something to her to make her shoot him? Was he the one that shot her brother? Because that's what Vaughn told me. That he was mad about. He said a part of him liked K.I. Because she was a woman. Although he didn't find her physically attractive. As physically attractive as a woman he would sleep with. Or I don't know if she was too young for him. But he was intrigued and fascinated by K.I. Because um, also her name's Kiara. I think what Kiara they call her K.I. Because she's a female shooter. And usually that's a men's world in Chicago. The men are shooters. She's a very good shooter. Uh, just as good and better than a lot of the male shooters. And she wasn't afraid to to shoot. She said, I have the vibe. Yeah, but I don't want to go by vibes. I need to go by facts. I want to know, did this man that K.I. shot that's in Vaughn's gang... Responsible for killing K.I.'s brother, which turned her into a shooter to get revenge. Um, Vaughn liked her, and K.I. liked Vaughn. And they were kind of playing a flirty cat and mouse game with each other because Vaughn secretly found her intriguing and fascinating, but he knew that he wasn't going to get ready to be with her because they're in separate gangs, and she wanted to kill people in his gang, the BDs. So they played this game back and forth and then she started to taunt them. I'm going to shoot this person, I'm going to do this and that. And then she would shoot them and after she would shoot them, brag about it and they would say, drop your location, drop your location. I think that's what got her shot that day because she dropped her location. That's, Vaughn is still mad at her about that. And she's not mad at Vaughn for shooting her. So I'm just like, Vaughn, I don't know why you're holding this against her or you're, a part of you is holding this against her. 
He's like, but she started it with me. I know she started it, you know, tell, tell him, but Vaughn, it doesn't matter now. It matters to you, but it kind of doesn't matter in the whole scheme of things because you all are both on the other side fighting for your life and you're fighting to get justice for your physical murder and who set you up. So he's going to work through that little bit, but K.I., she, she loves Vaughn. I don't know why she loves She said they've been together before in previous lives, and she's forgiven Vaughn. And I don't know why Vaughn is still holding this. You know, but I, I guess he, I don't know how all Leos are. Or I don't know his whole, where all his planets positions are. But I guess I, I get like that too. So I'm not condemning it. I'm just telling you all since we've, since I've been on here the other day. And this, this broke with the FBI confirming what I said. That's what Bond told me. Um, another thing. Remember when I said a few days ago, Nipsey said there was going to be scandal with the NFL players. Well, you know, a couple of days ago, there was the Atlanta Falcons NFL player that got arrested. He got out on bond, and the Atlanta Falcons fired him because he was accused of, uh, I don't know, I forgot the charge, what you call it, but it's something inappropriate with a child, a minor, and from a little bit I heard, it pissed me off. Uh, but then, yeah, hold on, let me take a break from getting to that. Something else happened. Remember, I said that Nipsey said, too, it would trigger other things to come out in NFL with men and abuse around women. Another NFL player just got arrested early this morning for burglary. He was accused of beating up his wife. I think that's his wife. You all look this up, correct me. I mean, this is amazing. I just said this, what, three or four days ago before these things happened. And they have happened with the NFL, like Nipsey told me. King Nip, Queen Drew, AKT Celebrity Reads, AKT Underworld Necromancer, Queen Drew. <laughs> what did you say? OD shot her cousin allegedly after killing him. She had OD's gun taking pics. So, wait a minute, she shot the nigga and took the nigga gun. Okay. <laughs> I see why Bond liked her. <laughs> but hated her at the same time because she shot one of his friends and gang members. Okay. This second NFL player, but I think they said, I don't know if he, what do you call it? Uh, he wasn't completely locked in. I had a contract with the team. I don't know if he was floating around or looking for a team. If you all know, fill me in here because someone just told me, they said, guess what? What you said about the NFL players, too. I said, it just happened this morning. So, the police were talking about in the state that he's in. He was arrested. He had been charged with, I think I'm wondering, or I, it kind of sounded to me. His wife, he jumped on. I don't know if this, I don't think this was the first time he jumped on her. Might have also happened with 2019, 2020. This is not the first time he whooped her ass. Then I think she put him out, and he tries to break in the house. That's what it was. He wasn't breaking in a stranger's house. I think they charged him with burglary. I think even though this may have been his house he had with his wife, or the wife uh, moved out of a separate house, and he tried to get in there. This happened this morning. This is a second NFL player to have drama around abuse. Let me go. Okay, thank you. So, you, you yeah, you can put the link because I shared the link earlier. It blew my mind. Oh, and another thing before I get back to the first, the Falcons player, that, that really pissed me off. I really want to do something to him. I'm going to get to it in a minute. Well, I told you that Nipsey, King Nipsey Hustle started telling me since 2019, after his assassination, and he was giving me messages, stay off the Boeing 700 series. I said different parts of the whole 700 series has issues. Not just the Boeing 737, 757, or the 700 series. Uh, it goes throughout the whole Boeing 700 series. Different numbers in the 700 series. The 700 series period. Somebody sent me a news article for today. Today. 
July 2021. There's another Boeing series. Was that the seven? Is it 787? Something like that called the Dreamliner. There's another airplane called the Dreamliner in the Boeing 700 series that has a problem with it. I haven't heard of that one before, but I saw it. Beautiful jet. Looks like a big jumbo jet. Commercial airliner. It's a problem with the tip. The front of the plane, the computer's in the front of the plane. And it is in the Boeing 700 series. You think I'm lying? Just Google it right quick while we're doing the live. And prove me wrong. <laughs> Drip. <laughs> I, I've told you several times, the ones that don't like me and attack me and make up lies on me, you don't have to like this pimping, but you must respect this pimping. ATL, shouty, dirty south, ho. Southern Comfort, Southern Hospitality, the real new new in this bitch. King Nip Queen Drip took my house and trapped it out. California Love, California God, Peace to the God, King Nip, Goddamn Neighborhood, Drip Crenshaw in this motherfucker. The marathon continues in this motherfucker. And you can prove me wrong. I'll wait. Just Google it right now. I just got it today. The Boeing 700 Series Dreamliner. I said this a few days ago. This just came out today. Nigga, NFL player whooping this lady ass. I guess he gonna bust in the house. The bitch locked the door. He gonna unlock. The bitch won't unlock the door. The nigga rap a tap tap it. I guess he finna kick it in, take his feet, and put them on the door, and then put them back in her ass. Once he get it open, the police uh -uh, caught him. Before he got in there and locked that ass up. Now, I don't even think they let this motherfucker out yet. I don't think they gave him a bond. I think he's got to wait until he gets out. Y'all can fill it in in the chat right now. If you hear something else, I don't think they let him out like they let the other one out with the little boy. The Atlanta Falcon. Now, that's what really pissed me off. Now, the Atlanta Falcon... Hey, Grinda. Now, a lot of y'all didn't like my mask, but, I, you know, I'm going to get to, to that in a minute, okay? Because he's been here. Um, Pennywise has not left. <laughs> Pennywise has not left. He's chilling here. And I let Pennywise chill. He's hanging here at my house because, you know what, I have enjoyed Pennywise. Now, he is something. He's a handful. I tell you that. This motherfucker had me so goddamn discombobulated and so possessed. When I put this bitch on my head, I couldn't even tell y'all my goddamn name. I, he just took the thing over. He was excited to be in front of the camera. He was excited to get attention. He likes to be the center of attention, and this motherfucker loves to kill. Not like the motherfucker loves to stab a motherfucker. You know? So he was looking on the live. Talking about he was trying to pick people to get them killed through the damn live. And see, I don't know if y'all understand how those spirits work. They will actually move through a television, a telephone, a movie screen, a video chat and shit. The motherfucker said he want to do the shit. Last night, he was picking different motherfuckers that he liked it. I, this motherfucker had me so fucked up in here and so possessed. I couldn't even halfway talk no more. I just had to throw my damn head back. I couldn't halfway damn talk, see, walk, breathe, nothing. I had to get off the phone and call somebody to talk to to try to get my consciousness back together. This nigga had my mind fucked up, fucking stockings twisted, one leg twisted over the other and shit. I mean, this man, this thing had me fucked up. I literally had drank a whole bunch of water and get me a little something to eat. I was so groggy and out of it. I did not get in my right mind till about 2 o'clock this morning. 2 or 3 o'clock this morning. With this Falcon, he said that it's a lie. His lawyer said it's a lie. I think that his agent, the sports agent, said a line on the Atlanta Falcons player that was fired. Okay. And remember I said that the sports entertainment agent, that company, was going to be put in question. It was going to have controversy. And it was more than one. And more than one person was going to come, come out. Well, that's a that's a long story, and that's Nipsey. Nipsey is silly and funny and crazy. Nipsey is so funny, 
and he, he, he likes to pull jokes and laugh, but at the same time, there's a method to his madness, and uh, I'm going to get into it in a few minutes, because actually, there are demonic entities that are used, and that demon is in Hollywood, because that demon Pennywise, the demon Jason, that's called Jason, that's also let loose now for July, August, September, October, November, um... The ones that are on the big screen in Hollywood were activated before they got on the screen. And then to push them out into mainstream and to push them out to possess people and actually kill people and make people kill themselves, that was done in Hollywood. So these things live and people call them, they specialize in psychopathic murder, hunting people, stalking people. Nipsey told me this demon and the demon Pennywise admitted, but they have another name on top. They'll be called Pennywise. And Stephen King is very demonic. Don't be fooled by these authors that have these characters that they say they make up and West Craven, all these people. They have taken the oath and those things are activated and alive. They'll give them, that's the top name, Pennywise or Jason, something else. The demon underneath it is named something else and they're part of particular families or they might be king. If they're big like this one, they're king demons. They have legions underneath them. This demon Pennywise told me he was at the Marathon store. He had an army, a legion of demons beneath him that people had called. There had been black magic, witchcraft, and occult called in to the Marathon to physically murder Nipsey. I still see big Yusuf Adair. I see, I don't see her physically on the premise, but I see his baby mama. Both baby mothers knew this was going to go down. And the one said that she called him, Tanisha, 30 minutes before he was killed when he was on the way to the store. I'm sure she didn't tell him not to go to the store, but I th they knew. I'm not saying she was in it, but she knew. She had to because she's also a gang member. Inside of this, they both were kids and grew up in this, her and Nipsey. So I don't believe she, I'm not saying she participated, but she can't tell me she did not know. Because she's not a civilian. The other baby's mother, Cross's mother, also knew. And from what I'm seeing, allegedly the spirit of part of her wanted this to happen because they weren't together. If she couldn't have him, she didn't want, she's like a setup bitch. She didn't want him to be with anybody and she didn't want anybody to have him. She knew and her teacher knew. The demon told me he's attached to those two females. And there were other males, there were females in the store when the murder took place that participated in it. And then Pennywise started showing me a mop, a broom and a mop. He said there was so much blood. There was so much blood. He was helping to mop up the blood. He was standing in the corner. I, for you all that don't understand why Nipsey has me to be dramatic like this and to show these to get the attention and for you to understand and to get the effect. You don't have to watch my videos. For you all, oh, why is he have you doing that? I don't like that face. I like your face. I you know what? Don't watch it because this is not, I don't know what you're here for. That's fine. I'm glad you like my look. I'm glad you like my clothes. I'm glad you like the humor. But this is not all about that. And for you all that don't get it, when I'm talking about Nipsey and when this man is still angry, about his murder and he wants justice and he wants his truth revealed around it you don't understand then don't watch it when we do the mass and he brings the monsters out because these were present doing his murder and these were involved in people a lot of these gang members participate in black magic satanic magic satanic sacrifice human sacrifice that's what a lot of the killing is about a lot of these people are heavily occult and if you do not understand that and if you do not get that these are not just characters and masks to be funny, don't watch my show. Don't question me about what I do on my show for Nipsey or for Vaughn. Because the same one is in his camp. The same monsters that also do the same. What I had to learn, what I didn't know, you wonder... Well, why is it someone in the music industry, an old group of people die out, an old artist die out, the old gatekeeper die out, and new ones come in just like them? Because it's a small circle and it's a family, and they handpick and groom the younger ones as they die off. The younger ones continue the ceremony, the homosexual, satanic sacrifice agenda where you trick people into that realm and you make them sign oath to sell themselves out and to sell their people out with the fans 
They think that these people are good people and they love these artists. These artists don't give a fuck about you. You are not one of them. You are not a part of them. They act on the public. They act on you. You are the victim. You are the blinded, the sheep. You are not a part of the elite. They feel like they are above you and they are better than you. They blind you and they take a O2 demons to get on a stage in front of you, seduce you, trick you, trap you, lure you in to fall in love with them and to think that they love you, to buy the tickets, to worship them and idolize them. And when you are open, then the demon comes up out of them and unleash on you in the public or in the concert. Then you try to act like, walk like, talk like, dress like. Drug like, smoke like, pop pill like the demon inside of the person that you don't see because you are admiring the person. People don't get a fuck about you. And then you get mad at me when I say something about them and I reveal what you don't fucking see. They are there for the elite. All of the Grammys, the Oscars, the MTVs. The BETs, all of these are not for you. All of their awards are for their peers and for their teachers and their masters and the elite and for Satan. That's what the award ceremonies are for. They gods, they audience, they elders, their teachers, their handlers, not you. It's not for your accolades and your approval. When they get an award, you either sucked a lot of dick, you took a lot of horse dicks, you got fucked by three goats and two goddamn sheepers. The bigger your award, the more dicks you got to take. And it goes from human to animal. The bigger the animal, the bigger that holds the more energy of a vessel. Oh, you think I'm playing? I'm not playing. A lot of these people have to fuck animals. Get fucked by a bull. Get fucked by a donkey. The bigger you want a big motion picture... You want the biggest album of the year? You want 10 million, 20 million, 30 million dollars? You want everybody to worship you? Well, you know, you got more dicks to suck. You know, you got these wealthy white men. They want you to fuck them and several of their friends and then open the door. <coughs> they might want you to fuck Wilbur the horse, goddammit. And you, you don't say no. You want this, you want that, you want to get this award coming out, you want this 50 million? Well then, you're going to take these dicks tonight. And this horse, a horse is a horse, of course, of course, Mr. Ed is coming out digging down in your guts. And then, you know, they just say, you know, you be like, what such and such at? Where the artist at? Where the new song? Oh, you know, she's on vacation. She, she going to be off until next year because they got to take her in the clinic, pull all that horse calm. And goat calm and shit out of her ass, out of her throat. Take her in surgery. Rebuild her a new asshole. A new pussy. Fix that up and shit. And let her ass cool down. Because it's hot from taking all them dicks. And peedy peedy up in her ass in the mouth, see. Might have had six, three, or three to five cats. You know what? Speaking of that. I don't know why this girl... Sent me a picture of the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, Lil Dirk ain't T. I don't know if it ain't T, his cousin, I don't know what she is. Them same pop ass eyes looking like Uncle, a black Uncle Fester with them black ring around her eye. I don't know if that Uncle Fester or Beetlejuice, goddammit. Sent me a picture of her with her husband that's supposed to be a damn woman up there. And it was the funny shit. Little foot, light foot, pig foot. I don't know what the fuck it is, but got them Beetlejuice ring up under her eye. Sitting there on a porch, okay, with Lori Lightfoot in the middle. Her daughter was on one side. She cute. I don't know if they're a real daughter, but daughter right here. Her husband, or that's her girlfriend, the white man right there, that's supposed to be a white woman right there. And then they had this fluffy white poodle. Sitting in the front on the damn step. Like she was sitting on the porch on the top step. Had the dog sitting in the middle down at the bottom. And I said, I don't know if you trying to fuck with me. I don't know if you trying to be funny. 
But I really wish you should, hadn't have sent me this family poultry here with Lori Lightfoot with these ring round her goddamn eyes up here and that hair fluffing sticking up on the top of her goddamn head with that damn dog with his hair fluff with the hair fluff around the dog like they had got the dog a new haircut. Like the dog had some cream hair. I don't think it was just white. Might have been off white. But what fucked it me up about it? I said, look, I don't know if you're trying to fuck with me and get me to go in that dog mouth. Because I don't want to. I'm not. Look, I'm trying to leave these animals alone this week. And get. I'm already dealing with these Halloween characters and shit. You sent this thing over here on purpose with that dog down there. Because you know that I talk to animals. And I, when I seen the dog, the dog had his hair cut. Like it was neatly cut round his head and mold it round like a bowl, a circle round his head with the ear hanging down. It was kind of a big poodle. It wasn't a baby poodle, kind of medium sized poodle that Lori Lightfoot and her family's up there with her man slash woman. And then the hair folk molded round like the dog had a little shape. I don't know if they wear the dog wear a corset at night, but the dog waist kind of go in and the hair fluff round his hips. I don't know if it's a girl. Or fucking, but looked like a female dog that was fluff. But what really got to me, and I asked her, why are you fucking with me? And you're trying to provoke me. I know that's, and I know that's what it is in the spirit. You're not shit. You're all not no good. you messy as hell. Because she sent me pictures before about different shit. But see, so you're trying to provoke me to go in one of these people's mouth. Either one of these human mouth. Or one of or this, hey Jaffe, how are you doing? Or the dog mouth, because the dog, it really turned me off because the dog looked like it got shit stains around its mouth. Why I say that? You don't, you think I'm lying? Pull up the family portrait of Laurie Lightfoot and they dog. The dog had white round there. Honey, don't start. Because I know that's what y'all was trying to lean toward. You're trying to provoke me in that direction. And I'm trying to deal with these animals. These, at uh, these, um, the Jason and shit in them that, that Nip done put over here. The dog, the dog hair white or like light color. Like, and all the dog hair around here is like a, a doodoo brown around the dog mouth. I ain't never seen no shit. I don't, I don't know what they're doing to the dog or I don't know if the dog were born with it hair like that all the dog hair white but the dog got his little goatee and his beard round his mouth brown dark brown like it done somebody done shit it in this dog mouth and it's just bleeding out round the mouth and the rest of it white I said the fuck the mustache brown doodle brown the chin hair, it all go all connected around this dog. Like they done clipped it and molded around this dog mouth. Brown. And the rest stood white. And as I'm looking, the whole body white. But just this round here is doodle brown and the chin is brown. Why would she put this dog up here like this? I don't know what kind of sign that she's sending out to the elite. I don't know who she's sending out to. But the dog, when I looked in the dog mouth, the dog said, this fucking bitch said that Lori Lightfoot is a bitch, a dirty fucking bitch, and be in that house arguing with that damn man or that damn woman that she is married to and that she be getting drunk and look like she takes some kind of prescription pill. The dog said he get tired of her, said she be attacking that white man all the time and that she keep up shit like the cuss and that she real knows and that she a thief the dog says she be stealing up there from that job and getting people that work it lord forgive me i am not saying this this a legend in the spirit i went in the dog mouth and i pulled out the dog mouth the dog said that Lori lightfoot get on his nerve the dog said that he can't stand Lori Lightfoot asked because Lori Lightfoot keep up shit inside that house and said that she tell lies and she get drunk and be leaning over and then start provoking her husband slash wife. I don't know if that's a white woman or a white man. Said that the, 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 the husband even she gets on his slash her nerve. 
he like your boy. I know they always be fine and say if she don't fuck him slash her and say she cold in her ass. So I don't know if she done got a hysterectomy. I don't know if she ain't tightening herself up down there or doing no vaginal steam clean or no vaginal tap on or going to get her hormone balance. Is, is she going through the chain of menopause? The dog says she crazy as hell and that. When she get drunk, say them black ring up under her eyes, get to sweating like say she get to sweating in her face and that they get real shiny and the eyes get low. Oh, you see them, you know what? You right, Allah, pray to Allah to help me. Pray to the Lord to help me right now because I am wrong. I'm wrong for what I am doing because I am saying Lord, forgive me that I went down in that dog throat and pulled that shit out. The dog said that sometimes he wish he had another dog to fuck and go out there and have a dog house and run away from the bitch. He said he don't even like this bitch. He don't even like the way she do him. Said that she got an accountant or somebody deal with money. That she be fussing at them. One accountant do one thing with the book. Another on the low, twist the shit round, get drunk, and that afro get to leaning over and get more puff and piss powering out of her head, and she come up with stealing money, man. Says some of them people payroll be all for the check be all for. I don't know if in the account the dog said that she like to steal. The bitch. He said Lori Lightfoot is a thief, and that she a big liar, and that she like to. Fuck with people on the email, pass, cuss like 10 people out at the same time, pass the email out, cussing people out, and then get on the phone and reissue the cussing out, and then a CC the cussing out around. That's what the dog had. You know what? I'll be back. I'm finna get me a drink because I am wrong for this. I'm gonna go get my Bible. You know what? Fuck that. I'm finna go get me something to eat. I have an eight all day because, you know, and I looked at the dog and I emailed that lady back my goddamn self. And I said, I don't know why you're, what you're doing to me. I don't know if you're trying to keep up shit. I said, but you know you shouldn't have sent that picture to me with that fucking dog, with that brown shit growing out of the brown his side of his goddamn mouth like that with a white body. Because you know I go in animal mouth. I mean, are you trying to ask me on the low to go on this dog mouth? Is that why you sent the picture? Because you was re like putting it in your mind. You want me to read your mind to go and fuck with that dog. Because I don't want to do that. I'm not in the mood. I'm dealing with damn Jason over here. I'm dealing with Pennywise and shit over here. And Nipsey crazy funny ass. And you are trying to sick me on another animal. The dog said that she don't be fucking. That man she in a relationship with. Said that either she cheat, her partner did like some kind of psychic. I don't know if it take both of them take meds on some kind of way, but she take more. I don't know if she hit that shit or hit that bottle. Then he's the dog, she get to leaning over to one side. She like to take like down or like urine and shit and then get. And start fucking with people on the email and then fuck. Cause you know what? I'm not. I'll be back, man. Oh, this is in case y'all wanna see it, man. This is a dress. I'm kinda on if you can see my stocking. Like this is a dress. Hold on. I'm trying to show you. God damn it. Cause y'all keep up shit. I don't know if I have to move, move where you can see the dress. Oh, God. You know, I got to move this whole chair for y'all to fucking see the dress. Damn. I'm going to move, fuck up my candles. So I'm going to go get me something to eat. I'm trying to show. See, it's a dress. I don't know if you can see. It's, like, really nice. Really pretty. She's, like, see-through. I'm not fucking with y'all. Oh, I shouldn't have said that about that dog. Oh, God. I shouldn't have said that about that goddamn lady. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me go in here. Let me get out that dog mouth and get out that dog hair. Hold on, I'll be right. Got them back. Got them. Back. I'm not. Oh, this my damn. Y'all, y'all sitting up there. Somebody tell me they believe that shit. Damn, man. Oh, forgive me, Lord, for talking about dog like that. A little bit, cause I don't know if they altered the other day. I just wanted some tomatoes. Let me know a little bit of it. I, don't know. I put the pictures up there. I, I gave them to Mina. I just kind of want. I made some smothered chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Right. I don't know if you saw it. I want some tomatoes. How the fuck I'm supposed to know where that damn dog is? I told that that's the male dog. That Lori Lightfoot goddamn dog, man. I'm supposed to know where that dog is. I'm trying really not getting that dog being him. Mm. You think I'm lying? Look at that dog. Look at Lori Lightfoot dog. Y'all don't think that shit. You seen a dog, they fucking hell like that. That dog had white all over his body. But brown around they got down mouth. I don't like that. I don't know that right dumb. I wanna have my dog. With that brown shit around their mouth, cause you know to make people think something. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Look like he stank about the mouth, thinking his throat with that mouth brown, that hair brown around their mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all look it up. You think I'm lying, man? Look. at the picture with Laurie Lightfoot. It's a, a family picture. They sitting outside on the porch. And that dog is wrecked up. With their hair like that around his mouth. Y'all ever seen a dog like this? Nigga with they lip black and they mouth black round now. 
I already know the nigga need to go to the CDC or something. They mild black like that. I wouldn't fuck with nobody with they mild black. I wouldn't talk to no bitch with her mild black. She can't be my friend. I wouldn't even let her in my house. She can't ring my doorbell. You know, the other night I had, my son had this dog. We had to get a dog away. It looked, the dog was walking down the street, looked it just like our dog. I thought it was our dog. Out up. There's a lady around the corner. I'm talking about the dog. It's a pit, like our dog. Got the exact same color. That's our dog, the same sign. I have to open the door. I got up early about 5 o'clock in the morning. I heard the dog or something outside scrambling around the yard. I peeped out the window. And I saw the dog in my yard. So I said, ooh. I wonder if that our dog. Because, you know, who had a dog? We knew the people that they had, we got a dog to. I thought the dog, remember where I lived, that sniffed at me. And I looked out there and I said, Dog, remember where I live? It sniffed at me. It's been all time. I got excited. I ain't that dog mouth, like I said? Well, they're, they're, they're different color around the mouth, like a, then I said, that's it. I wish you could put a picture up in there to see that I'm not lying so they can show that I'm not lying about that dog mouth. He said, She did it. And she rogues. So he said she got the extra money to go get it hair bleached out around that mouth. Yeah, but she won't do it. Like she, the dog said, like she likes to fuck with him or antagonize him. Have his mouth like that. It's just to show him that who in charge. Because she real dominant, like the, got an ego problem, got a power problem. Like, uh, she want to be the head honcho, got to be right and like to dominate people. Like to put her foot on people, her feet on people. Anyway, I thought that was my dog because it looked just like my dog from the side. I got that side. I said, oh, I ain't seen him in a while. Maybe the lady brought him around here for me to say hey to him. Because everything looked the same. Even though like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning it was light enough for me to see the street light was on. So the tail was st sticking up. Like our dog had the same patches on it. Like. Tan in the back, white in the middle, with that tan part of the face, white part of the face. I looked, it was an older, kind of a fat bitch. But then I shoot, I think I've seen the bitch before. If she don't live in this building, she live up the street, like in the other building. Face long and shit. Look like an old, ugly white hole. I don't know. <laughs> this a white woman, or she just half white or something. Real pale in the face with that Pillsbury Doughboy looking ass fade. It was long, hanging down. So I looked over it like she had a nightgown on with a damn soft, pudgy ass, long stomach hanging over a pussy. With a long, pale ass damn face with a old fucking shower cap with some lace and shit around the edge. I looked over that because I was excited thinking she had brought my dog up on the porch. The dog got up on the sidewalk, so I, I'm not going to go out and say hey to him and pet him. He had his face towards her ass, towards the street. God damn. I said, hey, you know, I thought it was him. And he heard me turned around. I said, oh, God damn, that's all right. Get that, that dog looked at just like that bitch in the face. Damn, jaw was long, face was long. Bags up on that goddamn mind. All he needed was a fucking shower cap on his head. He looked at just like her. Had that white face and shit, long and hanging down, brown patch. I, I, oh, God damn, he looked just like his fucking owner. She did that dog like that. That dog looked it just like her, just like I told you. That, that dog said Lori Lightfoot did that to his mouth like that. Usually when you see a dog looking like that, it's usually a female that fucked it up like that by the head. Because she had fucked that dog face. All he needed was a regular ass shower cap cocked over with some old lace around it. Oh, I, the dog looked at, I, I don't want to see you no more. Get the fuck out my yard. The big body was looking young and tight. Girl, I saw a dog here. Yeah. Ain't no no dog. Face get long like no human face. Need a goddamn face lip. 
strong as shit. Jack down, bag. He looked at just like his damn owner. All it needed was a nightgown and a goddamn plastic shower cap. I was done. I was done. When I seen that dog, I turned my head. That I don't want to. Mm -mm. You look just like both of y'all need a goddamn face look at that. Some moisturizing cream, oil of Olay, night of Olay, goddamn city of Olay or something, goddamn it. I don't know what the fuck she did to that dog. Never want that bitch to come around my porch and walk that dog no more. That broke my heart, man. I, I turned around and seen that shit. See, but that poodle, Laurie Lightfoot poodle face is firm. The face is still lift up. It's just that shit round his mouth. That girl told y'all that one line. She just went and looked at that dog mouth. Lori Lightfoot. I don't know why. See, I don't even know why I picked up on this when I'm picked up because I heard her throw the picture away. I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but you know that I was looking at that dog mouth and reached down that dog throat and pulled stuff out. All of Olay, night of Olay, evening and weekend of Olay. That's what she needed on her damn face and put it on that dog. Because that dog face, she did look just like that lady and old and pale and ran down. The dog looked just like that lady in the face. Looked like a human. A human face. Looked just like it on her. Ooh, that shit hurt me. God damn. I know animal can look like they own them. And Lori Lightfoot dog look like a mix between all of them. It looked like both of them. <laughs> hey, Lizette. It's light like a damn hummer. But his mouth fucked up and his hair frizz just like her. And the dog know all of her goddamn business and so she's still on that phone keeping up shit. And her house is a miserable household because instead of her laying down throwing her pussy, she be up keeping up shit and running her power trip. She got a bad power trip and she got a few years to do it. I don't know when she go out of office. But she ramming her power down everybody's throat and bullying and stepping on people. The dog said she wish she'll give him away. He don't even like the food she give him. That's messy. Messy and gossipy. Lord, what I put in. Mm. I said, I'm saying that same ring around his mouth. She got around two eyes. Both of her damn eyes. Is I told that girl, don't send me no more pictures of them with this animal because whichever the weakest link. But for some reason, the dog wanted to talk to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I hurry up and I erase it. I thought I had got it out of my spirit. The dog jumped back in just now. It jumped back in keeping up shit just now. I wish the lady that said she seen it could put that shit in the chat or y'all Google and look at that dog. That's right, not Lori Lightfoot, like goddamn it, Larry. <laughs> Larry Lightfoot. Because that's what the dog said, she very mannish. He said, but she's a miserable dyke. She likes to, she's a bull dagger. She's not a lesbian. She's a bull dagger. I like just try to throw a manhood around on everybody. And he says she roguish than a motherfucker. Well, allegedly in the spirit, that's why I heard the dog say about her. It was down his throat. You know, the dog can't tell his therapist or his psychiatrist about it. He's been holding it in and I pulled it out. The least I could do for him. Because it's been a dog real frustrated by this year. I guess she didn't have cut, but she won't get him by. Get that dog out. Straight out in his face. 
Like she won't get that shit straightened out up on the round in her face, round her eye. Anyway. That may calm down here when I was growing up. It's a difference between a lesbian and a lipstick lady and a bull diaper. It's a different now. It's not the same. I used to hear my grandma and them talking. It's a difference now. The bull dog will dress up like a man and try to fight you like a man and think they's a man and shit. And try to do man things and wear dicks. If you don't go get now, you go get you one cut in. Because they have low like a nigga. She likes to bully people. That's what he say. That's what the dogs say. Now, he makes that Falcon story. That Atlanta Falcon, they fired. I can't stand this motherfucker. If it's true, he said it's a lie. His lawyer said it's a lie. His sports agent said it's a lie. They said... There was two little boys, I think, two or three little boys. They said that this Atlanta Falcon player, excuse me, said it happened last year sometime. I think the mother filed a police report earlier this year, January. Took the little boys out to eat. I think it either was a family member or something that know the little boys with this football player, this Falcons player in Atlanta. So they took them out. Paid for the food. God damn. You see this here? That's when we haven't gone. Motherfucker here. Goddamn the charge. Goddamn go out. Damn, we ain't even been on here the goddamn long. Goddamn long. Damn, we ain't even been on here the goddamn long. Damn, we ain't even been on here the goddamn long. Damn. He paid for all the food. After he paid for all the food, they ate. Took them to a hotel. I don't know who, why the mother would let him spend a night out with these children. I think he took them shopping. Might have bought them some food. But I guess the nigga stopped by Victoria's Secrets on the low like a bitch. And got him some motherfucking toiletries and lotion, bikini drawers. I don't, I don't know what the nigga got. Little boy said they was in the bed sleeping. Said this nigga gets up. Comes over in his sleep. Pull his drawers down. Pull the little boy drawers down to his shins. Huh? Then the little boy said he got some of that goddamn Victoria's Secret lotion like a bitch or do a nigga and rub the lotion on his ass. And she his ass got <laughs> That's why I said he got from Victoria's Secret. He got some of that dick heating up lotion or ass heating up lotion where you rub it around a bitch ass. When you got down for to get fucked all in the ass and said the, the lotion heats up around your ass and shit. <laughs> Jama, I'm saying that because the little boy said his ass started getting hot. After he rubbed some shit on there, whatever the nigga rubbed on the little boy's ass, little boy said he started getting hot and itching. Skin was irritated and just warmed up. That's why I said the nigga went by the sex shop like a bitch. He's a bitch. Little boy said after his ass started heating up, after he done rubbed this shit on around the little boy's ass and pulled his goddamn draw down to his shin so the wolf can think about letting his dick in by the hands of his chinny chin chin. So he pulled his dick out and start rubbing his dick head in between the boy's ass cheek. That's what made me mad. Because he should have his brains blow clean the fuck out. If what the little boy said is true. Now he going to say the little boy lying and it ain't no evidence of it. To me, it's evidence because the little boy told his mother. That should be evidence enough to investigate because the little boy said it happened. The little boy said he was so scared. That he laid there and pretended that he was sleeping. And didn't move. And as soon as they left, he went and told his mother. 
And that's when she told the police. That's why the Atlanta Falcons got rid of him because after the police looked at it again, they arrested him. He got out on bond a couple days ago and keep saying he didn't do that. He's not guilty. But didn't I tell y'all before that a lot of these athletes are gay and fuck with little boys because a lot of them was fucked they damn self or had to do rituals like that to get into the NFL? It's a very gay secret society because I have gay males that are my friends of different races and different ages, young and old. I have one gay male friend who was fucking with one of them athletes. Another one was fucking with athlete on the Atlanta team that was really gay. But would date women and didn't want to admit that he was gay like a lot of the football players are on the DL and like transsexual. Mm. Like get fucked fuck this man in the ass. And the nigga didn't tell nobody he was fucking men. And then he was with uh, another guy who would physically just beat his ass all the time. When tell nobody he's getting beat up by a jealous possessive, just very violent, very abusive man who wanted to control him and abuse him. Good looking guy. Nice guy, and the guy was taking his money, but for some reason he liked to beat him up, take his money, dominate, and control him, and he didn't tell anybody, and dealt with this for years. Professional athlete, multimillionaire, getting beat up by another man. See, these things happen every day, and this is a part of their initiation, and when they get in there, they get stuck in these relationships, or they're sexual deviants. They like to have sex with a lot of different men, or Boys, I remember a police officer telling me, um, because you know, there are a lot of very talented, educated black men who go to Georgia Tech that get there on sports scholarships that are not so, not also brainy, but also top athletes like gods when it comes to their bodies. Very fast, very talented. He said he was in Pete Mount Park. That's where a lot of gay men like to go fuck in the park. And meet strangers in the park and in the bathroom. So he saw this black man pulling his dick out. And soliciting other men in the park. And so this guy was tall, slim, very athletic. So he had a big, long dick. He said, you remember seeing this guy? He's like, I'm not gay, but this guy had a big, long dick. He said, that's what I remember because he was flashing it out in the park at night. He said, we came up to him and he pretended not to be a police. And he pulled it out on him. And then he told him, I'm police. I'm going to arrest you. He said he didn't know this guy was an athlete at first, but this motherfucker could run. He said he could run so fast he couldn't catch him. Finally, he caught up with him. Some kind of he has an idea or something. He had to, I don't, know if he had, I don't remember the whole story, if he had to call back up or something. He said, but he couldn't catch that guy at first. Then he found out this was a athlete that was also a student at Georgia Tech. He had gotten a scholarship because he was a top, this boy could run. But he was also a closet homosexual. When he finished his work and everything he had to do in his workouts, he liked to go to Piedmont Park. Like a lot of educated men that have degrees, that are professionals and businessmen, but that are also athletes that have gotten scholarships. They're in some of the best schools. They're some of the most intelligent, cleanest, good-looking men that a lot of women want. And they wonder why those guys are single. Or if they sleep with women, why they sleep around and won't commit. A lot of them guys come around to parties with good-looking women or may even have sex with women or group sex with women and their friends to pretend to like women, but they're really doing it to pick up good-looking men because they know a lot of good-looking men hang around pretty women. Yeah. So when I, I saw that and I looked at that guy, It started making me remember, and also things I've said in different shows, 
And I believe that he did that to that little boy. And this boy, again, from the way they told the story on the news, this boy, he could get access to, and I think it was more than one boy in the room, because it was either a family member or a friend of a family member that was close and that trusted because he has a lot of money and because he's an athlete and he's, he's famous. And to be real with you, you know what? A lot of these people will sell their children to these athletes and then act like they didn't sell them to them. They'll let them hang around them to get money, opportunities, houses, jobs, assistance, and they act like they don't know that that's a pedophile. And then say, you're going to pay me. They get the money directly, or then they'll come back and do something. I'm not saying that's what they did. But sometimes they'll do things like this to get the money and put the child up his bait. And then say they didn't know that the man was homosexual. Was a pedophile, like little boys, you see. So I'm so angry about that one now. The other one that came up, of course, I don't like that either. This man beating on his wife. However, that's a grown woman. Mm -hmm. And she knows how to leave this guy alone. But women will put up with abuse too. For money, fame, fortune, house, recognition. Because a man is famous and wealthy. And take the fucking around and take the abuse. Knocked in the head. He knocked out and shit. Suck his dick. Because this is a superstar. And they don't want to let go of that lifestyle. Someone like that, you have a choice. A little child does not. And they're put in that position by adults. And then they may want to be in that position and lured there because of the things the person buys them. How he had taken these two boys shopping and taken them out to eat and probably introduced them to a lifestyle the mother may not have. So the children, they don't know anything about sex and don't want to be raped, but they're still lured into that by whatever the person is offering them. But still, they're not really in control of that. Adults are. Their parents are. That's why that one is so disgusting, because that's usually how children are molested. Someone that you know. Yes, children get kidnapped. They get picked up by strangers. But a lot of the time, it's someone that you know that the adults will expose you to. But, gosh, I wanted to go into some more stuff that Pennywise told me. That's very, very deep. And what Nipsey told me and what he told me what he saw at the store. And he told me he loved human flesh and blood. And he wanted some right now. He said he liked O negative blood. He said there was something about O negative blood that was his favorite. And when he was talking to me... I saw him connected to a white man way up above the physical circumstances that they catch us up in. The fake money, the crime, the gang violence, all the death, the economic oppression, wars, prison systems. This man is way above this. He didn't even look like he lived here. He looked like he lived in Europe. He said they control the whole world. He must be a part of 13 families. He's a part of the elite. He says he has a rare condition, a genetic condition, a blood condition. He likes to oppress people at the bottom. He likes the world just the way it is. He likes human blood and human flesh and said he cannot live without it. And that's one reason why they oppress a certain group of people with a certain blood type and or organs and for some reason he said he likes O negative blood and he is very isolated people don't even know he exists they don't even know their names the people that really run the power structure those are the men behind the curtain that are pulling the strings you don't see you don't know the famous people the wealthy people that they promote all the time in public you think those are the power ones those are not the most powerful the most powerful ones are the ones you don't see the ones you don't know, but they see you. They see the whole world. And that's, they like to run and control it and oppress and suppress people. This man, from the little bit I saw, and he also is behind the demon Pennywise. He said they call them, they use them. 
to do their bidding. And this thing, this demon, king demon that they call Pennywise that loves to kill humans, loves blood. There's a certain higher council of humans that do devil worship, satanic human sacrifice rituals. They have a whole... How do what, what call, it's like a forum. It's like a, a elders at this round table, this private organization that deals with child trafficking, sex trafficking, human sacrificing, and they have these demons that work for them heavily, demonic, and they're in bloodlines. But this ritual has been passed down through generations and they don't breed with humans outside of them. It's all about the blood, but because they breed amongst each other and there's some of them are like vampires, they have a lot of defects and genetic abnormalities in the blood. And they have to, they feed on other people. Especially the indigenous people and certain blood they like. And he, the first one he mentioned to me was O, the O negative. He has a rare blood condition in one of these higher up families. They have those conditions. Where it's, the blood is rare. I have to study them. I'm going to come back since this phone is going down. I don't want to try to hold this phone. Thought I would have more time to get into it because the phone was charged up and blowing my mind. But Pennywise was telling me when, when I had enough energy to think on my own and take that wig off because I couldn't have that mask on me. That thing was consuming me. It was taking my whole body over and my own energy. I wasn't even thinking it's me. I was thinking it's it. And he's been here still telling me these things. Very intelligent. Very demonic though. And is uh, a cannibal. He's a part of a demonic group, an entity that loves human flesh. And it's a group of elite humans that's over them that sends them out to do their bidding and possesses people to do their bidding. Even if it's black on black crime and they kill each other, what you don't see is one of them or both of them are possessed by those entities that have been sent out in a certain area to make them cannibalize on each other, murder each other, and then the demons come in and consume the blood and the flesh. Just like he told me last night, he was at the marathon. I said, you were at the marathon? He said, yes. That's why Nipsey wanted me to show him. He was one of the murderers because black magic rituals had been called down on Nipsey. Just like he said, Cowboy has a limited amount of time to do the right thing. And Cowboy was involved in and listening to and going along with the planning two weeks before the murder. He had to, to go along with the murder or he'd be murdered. But at the same time, on different levels, he is still dying. I'm going to get deeper into it when I come back. Because this is really, really interesting to me. What Nipsey is finding out and then what he shares with me to tell you all. So this phone is gone. And I don't, I gotta talk to my friend who gave me the stand to try to set up the stand so I don't have to hold it. Because it's very uncomfortable for me to try to hold this phone. And talk and I cannot eat my food. I was fine with one hand and you know I have to eat something. So I haven't really been eating I've been drinking my fluid and my water and my protein and stuff, but that's not good to be doing this work and be up all night with these entities and beings. And I have a lot of respect for them. I don't care if other people don't. I have a lot of respect for them. I learn from them and they respect me and they teach me a lot of things. I definitely have more respect for the true Demon King Pennywise. But then, you know what, if you look at Pennywise in movies... The first time I really saw him was on that witch's show. I forgot the name of the show, but Angela Bassett was on there. And Jessica Lange, two of some of my favorite at I love Jessica Lange. I love uh, Angela Bassett. They were on that witch's show. I forgot. That's where I sh saw him. 
the one that looked like him, the clown that lived in the bus, like the yellow school bus, and would go out there in the woods. He saw this couple kissing on the ground, and he was big. He was so quiet. They didn't know he walked up on them. He was watching them and then stabbed the shit out of them and left them out there. Nobody knew he had done it. And he was always grinning. And then go out there and live back in that damn yellow school bus. I mean, it was the creepiest, yes, American Horror Story when I saw his ass. Creepy as hell. Real smart and real fucking sneaky and real goddamn cunning. That thing... It has to be very intelligent. Somebody's intelligent to do some shit like that. Sneaky as hell, no talk. But the thing has a mind because it's been talking to me. And it said that to me. And I said, you were in the, in the store? And I'm like, did it take place outside the store? And he said, no. But I'm telling you too, like I said before, there's a house by the marathon. This also st it started there. Then moved. Then moved them around. I, I am still, and I'm asking the clown about this shit, and the stuff he's saying, it's just chilling. He's a true psychopath, and he has no emotions for humans. That's not his function. That's not his purpose, but yet he still comfortably tells me, and he told Nipsey, and Nipsey brought him here to tell me. Anyway, my arm is getting tired, so I'll have to charge this up and come back when I can. I love you all, and thank you for supporting me and donating. And people, if you try to donate through Zelle and you have a problem just putting my name there, and that's not enough info, contact me, and I'll help you process the donation. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. I love you all.